Hello, 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 everybody. How are we doing today? Hello, hello. Welcome on in. What is going on, my friends? Fantastic to see y'all out here. We got a new chatbot, and that is very whitewashed, so I'm going to have to figure that out later. But hello, how are we doing today? It's great to see y'all. Welcome, 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 welcome. Sorry, just shutting a few things down that I forgot to close down earlier. Because we don't need all these files open for no reason. Yay! Hi! How's it going? Welcome on into the stream. How's it going, everybody? Be sure to click that like button if you have not already. I very much do appreciate y'all being out here. We got 1,300 people in here and the stream is just starting. Woo! What the heck is going on? Also, I do want to say... Uh, Milky, thank you so much for renewing the membership before the stream started. And we got Courtney as well, uh, with the renewing the membership as well. So thank you both so very much. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so very much, everybody. We just passed 400 members on YouTube, which is crazy. So thank you, everybody. I really do appreciate that. I got a notification from YouTube this morning about it, which was very, very cool. So hope you're all doing really, really well today uh bazil how hi how you doing what's going on i see we got devin in here we got river song what's going on eggs how you doing woot woot good to see ya 89 what's up my dude paul how you doing we got miss galley in here with the three months thank you so very much for that and we got armip with the five months thank you thank you thank you everybody i really do appreciate it i swear if these announcements aren't working again I think I think I'm gonna change the software I'm using because it has been breaking way too much recently. <laughs> Holy cow! But thank you so very much, everybody. I really do appreciate it. Let me see if I can fix this real quick. Let's do that down here. Yes, that's more legible. There we go. Now you can read the chat on the screen. I don't know why you need to do it. You can read the chat right next to the screen, but you know, it's cool because it's fun. Play into melon field, please. No, no, that's been done. That's been done a few too many times. Perry, thank you so very much for the three months, my dude. I really appreciate it. Super hyped for Empire Season 2. You know it. Oh, my God. I can't wait for y'all to see it. Episode 1 is just... It's finished. It's its ready to go. Episode 1 will be out this Saturday. I'm so excited for it. I think it's going to be amazing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Need a FWIP and B-double-O building collab? Could be cool. Could be cool. But some of the names are getting cut off in the chat. Oh, yeah. They're a little too long. Too long of names. It's all good, though. It's all good. I'm going to have to mess with all this stuff a little bit more. But that's okay. Holy cow. Metricat, how you doing, by the way, my dude? And we got Maha in here with the with the brand new membership. Thank you so very much for that. Oh, that one popped up. Why did the other ones not pop up? It's like the renewals aren't popping up, but the new ones are. So I will fix that. Hardcore tomorrow? Unfortunately, no. I have been so busy. So incredibly busy trying to get empires ready to go because if you didn't know i'm the admin for the series so we've been doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff getting it all ready and it's finally there oh my gosh it's finally there uh, so people are able to play i've been fixing a lot of issues on the server just kind of making sure it's really efficient so we can actually play without it lagging like crazy um so that's been taking a little bit more time than i expected but you know what we're doing it and i'm hoping I'm hoping starting next week, my goal is to have a hardcore and an empires every week. We'll see if that happens, but that's my goal right now. I'm going to try and hit that. I don't hate me if I don't hold up to it, <laughs> but we'll see. We got Ryan Jones with the brand new membership as well. We got Ed Gabriel with the six months. Holy cow. Six months. Thank hey, you so very much. You're such a great inspiration. We got Chris Daly here with the five. Thank you so very much. And Liz Source with the six months as well. Thank you so very much. I really do. I really do appreciate it. I don't know what's going on with those. Let me see if I can fix it real quick. I might know what it is. I might know what it is. Because for some reason, those aren't even, those aren't even popping up. Weird. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I really, I really don't know. I wish I did. I think it's about time to uh, change to something else. <laughs> I think I, I've been trying stream elements for so long and they just do not work. They don't work on YouTube. It works great on Twitch. It works great on Twitch. It breaks all the time on YouTube and I cannot figure it out. Uh, so that's fun. Because it only is allowing me to do like brand new memberships, but not any rebuild, like old, like 
redos of memberships. So like that doesn't help because most people are re-upping memberships. So, you know, that's my rant of the day. <laughs> it's all good though. We'll get it sorted. Lizasaurus, you're going to make me read that one out, aren't you? Uh, Lizasaurus would like to say to the chat, make sure you like and subscribe to Daddy Flip. Uh, that, that is a message from Lizasaurus with a six month resub. So, um, that, that is what she made me read out. So, um, I think with that, I think with that, uh, we just get right into Minecraft. Hi everybody. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I'm just gonna shh, 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 shh. hide that right down there. It's testing a chat bot like before you stream is impossible it's impossible but we're trying we're doing our best it's all good english only in the chat please my friends help us make sure this is a safe space for everybody to be hanging out i really do appreciate it i've got a bunch of junk in my inventory right now and i don't really remember what i was doing last uh we are not on empire so i can hide these and it should be good it should be good well the members from the last season be on season two Pearl is the only person who did not continue on to season two because she wants to focus solely on empires or hermitcraft. Sorry. Uh, she wanted to stick around on hermitcraft and give that the attention it deserves. And she's been doing some absurd stuff on empires. So if you have or hermitcraft, she also did absurd stuff on empires. Uh, but yeah, so she's sticking with just that one, but everybody else is continuing on. So it should be good stuff. We're super excited to share the new adventures, new stories, and everything with y'all. It's gonna be super fun. All right, this song's a little bit of a downer right now. There we go. Now we're now we're doing better. Now we're doing better. Firebugs, great song. It's the new 119 song. It's just a little little too slow right now. Be sure to click click that like button as well, my friend. We got my friends. Not not just one of you is a friend. You all are a friend. Um, we got almost 2,000 people in here and only 800 likes. So if we can get above the 1,000, that'd be amazing. It's a shame, but looking forward to season two nonetheless. Yeah, it's it's all good. It's all good. Sometimes it's it's totally okay for people to move on and focus on other things and reprioritize. It's one of those things on YouTube that is like a lot of people expect creators to stay the same and do their same stuff and stick in their like same little bubble that they're in the entire time. But I think it's a very smart decision for people to like be like, no, this is what's working for me. This is what I need to focus on. So you put it's a lot good. of effort into YouTube videos. Keep going. Hey, Daniel, thanks so very much, my dude. I appreciate the donut. Also, Chris Daly, I don't know if I missed that one or not, but I think I got it. But thank you so much for becoming a member. Uh, love for Sunflowers. Thank you so much for the three months as well. If you missed it, everybody, uh, touch grass and game. Got you. Got you. Got you, my dude. I got you. Is that, does that work? We're touching. Oh, sorry. I was touching with the carrot. Let's, there we go. Now we're touching the grass. If you missed the last episode, go watch it. We built this. It's pretty cool. I really, really like it. I spent way too much time on it, but I actually love it. Uh, we got our two puppos over here. I haven't named them yet. I haven't found any good names from the comments yet. Uh, this thing is gonna definitely be a junk storage room eventually. So that's fine. Tall grass flip, tall grass. No, 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 no. Gifted Please memberships are working for things. Lizasaurus, thank you so very much for the five gift Please memberships. I almost said subs, I almost did it. I gotta retrain the brain. Best birch force ever. You. Thank you. Why are those working? Also, I need to get a new animation. I don't have an animation for the beca became a member thing. I need to get a new one. I gotta find somebody to work with. Um, I got frogs. I got frogs. We should. There should be a third frog around here somewhere. Or they're still tadpoles and they swam away. This is one of my issues. Issues with this lovely game that we all play is I definitely definitely I bred those frogs in there right they just chill in their area they're hanging they love the pond and I put some tadpoles in here because they bred the frogs they laid the tadpole eggs and the tadpoles swam away and now I don't know where they are like turtles Turtles will come back to their home beaches every once in a while in game. That's great. I wish the other animals did that too, instead of just wandering aimlessly. So that's kind of a bummer, but that would be a, that'd be a cool fix. If the frogs were like, no, this is where I was spawned in. Cause then otherwise you have to build like barriers to keep the frogs in and they'll jump over everything. And it's just, it's just tedious. It's tedious and it really breaks away from like the 
El Natural vibe that I would love to be able to have. If I responded to you, you'd be very happy. Cool. Cool. I'm new to this channel, uh, right? Because I watch too much. I'm new to this channel, right? Because I, I want too much of hardcore series. Dude, this is the hardcore series right here. We're on day 1616. Actually, that kind of worked out pretty well opening that right then, but hey, we're doing it. How do you show hitbox like that? F3B on Java edition will show hitboxes. And then you can see that little red line is where the eyeballs are. So it's very, I use it a lot because of being colorblind. I find it actually helps me identify things a lot more easily. Um, so I use it a lot. I think it's a good accessibility option that they need to include in like bedrock edition and all that stuff too. So you met flip through empires, dude, nice. I'm so excited. I've got so many fun ideas for the new season. I'm at this point right now. Episode one is done. My starter base is built. It's looking fantastic. <gasps> Cactus. It works. The farm, the farm works, everybody. But I've got my starter base sorted. It's done. I've got episode two in the works. So I decided to get ahead a little bit, so I'm already working on it. And then from there, I don't have ideas except for being like end game. Like I've got my end game goal as the series is going on but i can't like i'm having a hard time getting to the point where i'm like the mid the mid game because i don't want to rush to end game but maybe we'll see what happens okay so today i've been meaning to do this for a while and i've been really really wanting to is cleaning this up this area is just i just kind of did it the waterway the river i really have been meaning to come up here on stream and work on this area a little bit more also, can somebody tell me this, if this is true or not? When I updated to 119, all of my auto sorters that I made, they all broke. Every single one up here broke. Did the redstone mechanic see things behind this stuff change? Cause it's all, it's all broken. Everything up there is broken. So like, it's just nothing's, nothing's working at all. It's all my whole fancy storage room that I made for 119. So I could have all the wood storage up here. It's broken. Oh no. What FOV do you play? I play 80. It shouldn't have, yeah, it, it absolutely is all busted now. Okay, so step one, because I think it'd be cool, is I want to decorate a little bit more of this outside area, specifically right in there and also up here. So I was thinking we could do like a tree or two up in here just to give it some details. And then this section, I really need ideas. I need ideas from y'all so much because I cannot sort this out. I really need to fix this place in here. Um, but while I do this, I actually need to fix something else because my face is very whitewashed today. That's why I'm not that pale. I mean, probably am, but I like to give the illusion. Um, Pleased to meet you. I a little warmer. Nope, now I'm orange. Like too much. Very whitewashed. No, I think that's actually okay. That's fine. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. I need ideas in here. A temple? No, I don't want to build a temple. I just need like small detail ideas. So this is a like wood. This is like a lumber mill, right? So we'd have like the logs coming in here. Then they'd go in the mill to be stored and moved around. I know it's not really realistic, but we have chests, so it's Minecraft fine. Also, I definitely lost a shulker in here somewhere. I put a shulker box in and my unloader doesn't work, I think. So, <laughs> like post with banners. Ooh, we could do that. Wait, there's actually this. I gotta show you. I gotta show you. Hopefully, I don't spoil everything. Let me, let me make sure I don't spoil this. Because I might be staring right at my. I'm going to Super Flat World real quick. Yeah. Okay. So, I saw this a while ago. People have been making it in like the conquest community as like a little place for birds and things to hang out as like a nest of sorts. I'm mean, kind of thinking something like this could be cool in the world. So maybe we grab this guy. Just like one of these where it's just, this is a place where like a messenger bird could hang out up there. They could go and deliver messages and come back and things like that. I love using um, your texture pack. It also, so we'll get back to it eventually. This is the tower that's supposed to be going around the uh, ocean monument. I haven't got into it yet, um, 
but this is the, the idea. I want to use the glazed terracotta because if we go all the way back here, you can see the white in the glazed terracotta really starts to come out and then it matches with the other white tones. So the green looks almost like a moss of sorts growing over the top of everything. So you, I think that's gonna be really fun. And then this right here, 100% will say it's a Trixie Never Blocks build design. I was, I'm trying to take it and like get inspiration to build my own thing off of it. But this is by Trixie Blocks. Awesome builds and antics you get up to. Tie. Um, okay, so let's try that. Hardcore season, there we go. Holy cow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, Elaine, thank you so much for the brand new membership. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nat, thank you so much for the five. I really appreciate it. Love your texture back. Also super excited for Empire Seasons 2. Yeah, if y'all would like the texture back with all those fancy flowers and everything, we got it finished up. It is available for anybody who's a member. So if you got one of the gift memberships from Liz, join the Discord, link it up. You can get the download in there. Never actually played Minecraft, but I don't, I don't have a Minecraft account. Just love watching your videos and all the crazy builds. Hey, Alicia, Alicia, Alicia. Thank you so much for the donor. I really appreciate that. And that's really cool. I, I have like, there's definitely a few games that I love to watch people play, but like I have no interest in playing at all ever. So I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. Okay, let's try this. I definitely have a stack of anvils somewhere because I needed to like get rid of. Yeah, there we go. So anvil, let's do the campfire. I know somebody said that in chat, use the campfire. Let's give that a shot. Um. And then from here, I think the rest that we need is wood related, right? Yeah. And deep slate. Deep slate? Now it's quiet. Now it's really quiet. Jimmy raid. <gasps> wait, did we get, wait, is that like an actual raid? Did that actually happen? Or is that just Jimmy sending people over here? <gasps> Solidarity and their views just joined. Jimmy, how you doing bud? Welcome on in everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How we doing folks? <laughs> That's the official first raid redirect. Hi, ah, there's the YouTube, the YouTube term. There's the redirect over to here. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jimmy. How you doing, my dude? Hope everything's going well, my friend. Hope it's going well. Going to the next song. Welcome, 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 welcome. Okay, we're still good. Sorry. <laughs> Today is one of those days where like, I tried changing things and things were not changing well, uh, but it's okay. We'll be fine. Why is there brown terracotta in here? <laughs> what was I doing? I don't know. I'm scared. Tell me, I'm scared. Okay, let's do this. Let's get some dark oak. Jimmy Raid, Jimmy Raid, Jimmy Raid. All right, how we doing everybody? Good to see y'all in here. How's it going? Nice to meet ya. Welcome on in. If you're brand new, be sure to click that subscribe button, my friends. I really do appreciate it. Also, if you're new in here, please be sure to leave a like on the video. Helps me on the stream. It helps me out a bunch with getting the word out. So I really do appreciate it. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope y'all are super hyped for the brand new season of Empires. I know we are. We've all been. The server has been going crazy. Bonkers, you could say. Absolutely bonkers this week, which is everybody getting their stuff done, getting videos started, and just things happening. And I, we can't wait to share with y'all. Absolutely cannot wait. So, uh, Jimmy's chat. Uh, did Jimmy spoil anything today? What did What did Jimmy spoil? Hmm? 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 Did you find a mangrove swamp in this world? Yes, we do have one. We are set. What did I run in here for? I came in here because I needed a ladder. Why did I come over here? Because I need a ladder. I could have got it on the other side. I don't know. Oh, no, I need a carpet. Jimmy said there's biomes. Dude, Jimmy. Jim, all right, we got to ban him. That you guys have biomes. Actually, <laughs> I love this. I love this because that could be taken as everybody has their own biome that they're building in. Kind of like how we did in season one. But actually, that's not true. <laughs> So if Jimmy said, yeah, we all actually have biomes. Everybody has a biome that they own. It's actually wrong. So I love that. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. That's that's great. <laughs> oh, I love this. Nothing yet recently. Mm -hmm. I saw somebody post it on Twitter this morning. <laughs> They're like, this is Flip watching Jimmy's live streams. And it's that picture of Scott holding the Jimmy plushie, just like ah! <laughs> choking it. <laughs> got a good laugh out of that one I got, I got a good chuckle out of that you fighting the warden no 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 
see, see, you see here, you see here. I've survived 1600 days in hardcore because I know when it's to run away. That's my tweet. It was a good one. You got, I got a the big old chuckle over here. I was just laughing for a while. <laughs> Thank you kindly. It was like sad, but true. true. Love your work. <laughs> Been a fan for a long time. Do you see yourself streaming more on YouTube or Twitch as time goes on? I streamed on Twitch previously and I didn't have a good experience for a while because it really just, I don't know. Twitch just wasn't doing it for me for a good while. Granted, I came to YouTube because YouTube said they're gonna do all these things this year and all these new things were gonna be happening to make the streaming on the platform better. And only one or two of those things have happened when they said they'd all be done by Q2. So, who knows? <laughs> I like YouTube. YouTube's fun. It's nice to keep all my audience in one position. It seems like a lot of you all enjoy the streams over here. Audience viewership's up like crazy. Uh, also, obligatory, leave a like if you haven't already. Thank you very much. Um, so I don't know. I haven't, I think foreseeable future, YouTube. That's my plan. Okay, ow. Does this look okay? Somebody said try a campfire here as the top cover, I think. Yeah, we'll leave it. We'll, we'll leave it. I think we throw a tree behind it. Actually, that's that looks like a duck bill. Looks like a big old just a duck. Thank you, Coin. Not a, not like duck face, but like duck bill. What are you doing? We're just kind of detailing some random stuff around the world today. There's not a huge plan for what I want to be building. I just know I wanted to get on here and build because I I I've started the next project. I'll give y'all I'll give y'all if we hit here we go. If we hit 2000 likes before I don't know. Before we to meet you. get to the birch forest by walking, I'll show you all the next uh, the next video idea. We're walking to the birch forest. Two thousand likes on the video. By the time we get there, oh no, I gotta sleep. Oh gosh, I really gotta stall and sleep here. Oh no, I can't sleep yet. I gotta keep moving. Oh god, can I stop and sleep? Oh, okay, yeah, we can stop and sleep here. Twitch is frustrating me. Yeah, Twitch has got a few new things they're dropping out for like newer streamers, which is cool. Oh, wow, we hit 2,000 likes. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it wasn't even close. What a. S <laughs> Instantly, so many people liked the stream. <laughs> I love you all. Thank you. Okay, the next the next video idea that I'm working on Thank you, Coin. is I want to continue the story of this world, but I'm not. I don't want to have the story of this world be something that I write down in a book. I don't want to write a book. I don't want to tell Thank a story. I want to have the world tell a story. So I'm continuing on with that. It. Instead How of you today? doing some big crazy mega project for the next video, where I was originally planning to, planning to do in the nether hub, but instead I'm still in the beginning stages of having planned the thing out. I want to build a castle. We're going to build, it, not a big castle, not even the size of the one over the mountain. But I want to build a castle right over here that is kind of guarding everything. So it's telling the story of how this area is able to be protected. So we've got castle and the only way from all of these rivers where they go off every single direction, the only way that gets to the ocean where I'm kind of in the world lore that I'm creating I gotta expand this, but that'll be a future project. Um, the only way to get to the ocean is through this passage. So my idea is like, if anybody was trying to attack our region by sea, they would have to travel through here. I've been watching Vikings Valhalla on Netflix. I just finished season one, pretty good show. Not kid friendly at all, but good show if you like Viking stuff. So they'd have to come through here and then it's, right in here before it opens up to a big water area there's gonna be a castle that's kind of there to defend everything so i'm kind of using that to tell the story around this place and still add to everything in here because the nether hub you wouldn't be able to see it in the overworld here and i really want to spend some time working on it so i think this one's going to be there then i do want to do nether hub next and like nether farms and then after that i think we might work around this area and get spawn fixed up and destroy the cactus farm again um 
but I think I think that's kind of a fun goal. That's what I've got in mind right now. So, hey, Metricat, thank you so much for coming a member, my dude. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Introverted Gamer, thank you so very much for the dono. I appreciate that, my dude. Good to see you. How you doing, my friend? Uh, I'm doing well today. I'm doing really well. I've been living, and I mean living, in the new Empire server, just getting things ready. And it's really nice. I am i didn't realize how much I was like, ooh, I want to go play hardcore. Until I was like, oh my god, it's Wednesday. I get a str I'm streaming today. Yay! And then I opened up and I was like, I can't stream empires. I get to stream hardcore. And I was really excited. So that's how we got to here. Okay, this spot. It's, what do we think? I'm thinking it's a little too open. It's like, I want some more. Mostly, I think we just need some, like maybe even just some piles of wood right over here could be good. Would be good. It would be good. Key break jungle tree at starter base. Those those guys over there, I kind of like them. I, I It's making me want to build a bigger tree there because I really like how it looks from the bottom of the mountain having a big tree there. This is okay. Mm, let, me, let me try one thing. One little thing. Maybe out... No, let's do a cart. Let's do a cart. I just... It needs something. It's too open. There's no detail right out here, and I don't like it. So let's do a cart. So three. It can just be like chilling here. Need some spruce. Always spruce. That tree is amazing. Thank you. I, I want... I I agree with a lot of the competitors. Um, a lot. I agree with the blur bear bear Uh, <laughs> why can't I talk today? I I really want to extend the leaves out farther. That's gonna be a grind though. Getting the leaves from here, like we got to build more branches going out. Then we got to do some more leaves going out, and it's something that I want to do, but it's uh, it's. It's gonna come eventually. Because it's probably gonna be a whole video of like boom, boom. Because I wanna extend probably from there. I think if it comes out to here, so like another 15 blocks or so out, I think could be good to like make up for the size of the tr like the the trunk. The trunk's big <laughs> compared to where it is. The seed of this world is building space with space foot. I don't know what the number is. I haven't I've never looked. Um, 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 I need more spruce. Oh, when you're building a wagon, everybody, pro tip, pro wagon building tip, more spruce. Mostly for these. Secondarily, for ladders. And third, very important as well, signs. Oh, wait, we forgot signs on the little, uh, coop. The little coop thing we made. Well, there's a Madagascar trees that look exactly like the mega tree that fit pretty well. Yeah, the baobab trees I know look a lot like this one. So like it's not completely off, but I think it could be something that would, it would benefit. It would benefit if we extend the leaves out and I'm okay with that. I think that's good. I think it's really an important thing to look at a build that you made and then be like, I could still improve it. I'm happy with it. I love it. But there's something that I could change on it if I want to in the future. Any tips for developing your own lore in Minecraft? I want reasons to build things, but no idea to start with. The biggest thing I can say about developing lore in a world is start small. Don't start with this kingdom and this kingdom have been at war for thousands of years. If you start there, you're gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna flop. It's gonna flop real bad. So what you wanna start with instead is literally something as simple as trying to tell the life of a farmer. Like, okay, so the farmer lives here. What crop do they harvest? Okay, so they have a wheat field. Cool, they got their wheat field. What do you need for a wheat field? Well, the farmer probably needs somewhere to live. Okay, cool, they got that. They got a house down here. And then, okay, on top of that, all right, the farmer's probably gonna have some animals that they work with to help with the field. Maybe horses or mules to pull the plow. So then, okay, well now we need a plow. So let's build a plow off to the side somewhere. So they have that as a detail bit. And then we have a small stables thing so that the horses can stay in there, everything like that. And then after that, after the wheat's harvested, where does it go? Okay, now we need something else from there. 
okay then we've got a little granary grain silo over there for all the wheat to store in and process and go there and then oh my gosh after that this is the part haven't done this haven't done this step in the story of the farmer yet but what do we do with the wheat it has to be milled somehow so that it can turn into grain to be usable to cook with and make food for everybody to survive so then we need a mill whether it's a windmill like that dude or a water mill or just something you have to have a mill to be able to process everything and then if you start doing that then you're like wait that's 10 buildings that i need to make and then that tells the story of the farmer and then okay so now the farmer he's got his wheat we got the mill we got everything in there it's built out it's ready to go farmer's living there he's chilling he's got all this wheat he's like i got too much for me to eat i can make some money i could sell it then he needs a wagon to travel and then well he needs somewhere to travel to so we have a town how does he get to the town well he has a wagon cool where's the wagon go over the wagon needs a road got to travel through the road you get to the town in the town there's a market the market is where he sells everything okay he's probably not the only person in the town and the town needs buildings too so you do that and then okay in the town where we go from there is we you have like all the different jobs in the town and that opens up additional little branches you can take from there and then as you go with that then you're like okay probably somebody oversees the town and the town probably has some sort of like political setup and things like that and maybe there's a king and then you're like okay castle where does the king live the castle that's that's what i do that if you just go just it's it's basically being realistic renee you are exactly right that's where i start i start that small you don't have to start that small if you don't want to that is where everything starts for me because then i can enjoy the process of growing i don't have to worry about just being like all right how can i make big massive castle right away it, you're like wow it sounds so simple and easy I, it's annoying how easy it is and it's also annoying how long it took me to figure that out <laughs> so i i you're you're not alone <laughs> um but yeah that's literally all you got to do if you want to build a world with a story you can write down the books you can write down all that stuff if you want to do it where you're like telling a story i know um a few i've a few people are i'm blanking on their name right now somebody's telling a story about like kingdoms at war with each other in their youtube series and how they're all fighting and going to battle and then they're involving like their actual subscribers and members to come on and fight those battles and then whichever side of the subscribers wins is actually like where he's taking the story in game and everything like that and you can do that if you want to but for me i like to start it a little bit smaller and just build things as they like grow i like to grow the world instead of having it being defined from the get-go like if i feel like if i spend too much time writing lore then I get scared of implementing it. Because if I spend all this time like writing it down, I get a little in my head and I go over the top. I will go big. Like I'll like plan out the lore for five other civilizations in the world. And then I'd be like, oh God, where do I even start? What the heck is wrong with me? I've been doing all this stuff and I don't even know how the heck to get there. And then I get overwhelmed and then I don't do anything. So that's what I try and avoid. Bethany, thank you so much for becoming a member. We got Keisha. Keija, Keija, becoming a member as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Hot Gem with the tier two membership. Thank you so very much. I really do appreciate that, everybody. Y'all are very, very kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we got a little wagon. I think that works. It's not my best wagon, but it's usable. It's doable. It's gonna, it's gonna do the wagon thing. It'll, oh, no, nope, I already have two. I don't need it gonna do the little little waggony waddly thingy what do i get your resource pack if you become a member you can download the resource pack uh via my discord but there's no public download for it now start small and expand exactly that everybody's like but how do i get to the end how do how do i get to like the the final where i have like this big mega world that's been on for thousands upon thousands of millions of episodes and it's that i could explore for a bajillion hours and still me. find new stuff how do i get there it's like well you, d you don't do it overnight <laughs> sprained ligament in my knee glad you're online for my bedroom oh, jeez 
Oh, geez. Hope everything's going okay. Hope, hope the recovery goes quick too, my friend. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, it needs something. It, and I think all it needs. Oh, that was it. I just, it needed. Just this right here also needs. Do I have any more? I do have more core stone. You should do a town being burnt down by a dragon or something. Maybe. I think I'd really just need to roughen this up. The line is too flat. That's that's what's really been messing with me here. Moss on log. Ooh. Don't you tempt me with a good time. <laughs> um Yeah, this'll work. I'm just trying to make it look dirty. Like, this place is used. Like, people are in here working. It's not just something that's just sitting here doing nothing. Um, yeah, there's a join button under the stream or in the description. There's a link. If it doesn't show up, unfortunately, it's not available in your country, which is dumb. Post-war battlefield with catapults and whatnot. That could be a cool project one day. I just don't know how that would go over. To be honest. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I think I think y'all are right. I don't think it needs too much. We can move on to the next step. The next steppy step. Okay, let's... Um, carpet can just go in there. Trees. It's time for trees. I think we build oak tree. Or do okay, question. Chat. Mitchell. Question for y'all. I've been kind of milling over this in my head here and I haven't figured it out quite yet. The birch trees that are building out the birch forest, do we leave them only in there? Or do we bring some out and like mix them in with these trees? Like, do we let the water be a deciding factor of the forest? Like the forest difference is by each side. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think it's worthwhile to bring the trees over here. Bring a few out. Yeah, I'm thinking just a few. Not that dense. Not that dense at all. Seriously. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. Use the bridge, please. I, bu I built the bridge. If you want to use the bridge to walk across. No. N nobody wants to use the bridge I made. You just want to stare at a rock. Oh, Yep. That's a nice boulder. It it he's is a nice Mitchell. boulder. I did a great job on that boulder. Thank you. I really he, look at him. He's just he's admiring the rock. He's getting a good sniff. Just uh, a <sighs> It's good rock. It's good. It's good rock right there. Yeah, that's a good one. Mhm. Mm that's a great rock. Oh yeah. Just going to let the rest of the team go on and I'm going to sniff this rock. <sighs> it's a great one. It's really yeah hey guys you want to come oh yeah you want to come back over here and check out this rock everybody it's really 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 good it's a it's a nice boulder oh yeah yeah see the whole crew is coming back over they're just oh no let's go down the lazy river wow we're having a great time here Woo! look at them whoop, whoop, doop, ba, doop, ba, whoop. no no they're all looking at the rock over there they're just uh doing their thing just doing his thing looking at a rock He's just still staring at the rock. Does he just, he's just dumb. You know what, you know what, I figured out. What he's thinking, what he's thinking here is you know how much better this rock could be if there was some moss on top of it. He's like, hmm, this is great boulder. It's a great boulder here, but if there was moss on top of it. It would be unbeatable. A lovely rock otherwise, but it needs needs some moss. Okay, so we need to get some more tall grass. I need to get some sugar cane and the big drip leaf, and we'll just start decorating out this river first, and then we'll come back in and do some trees now. Moss on boulder. <laughs> moss on rock. Moss on rock! 
What do you use to zoom? Uh, I use logical zoom. There's OK Zoomer, and that's another good one. There's um, uh, there's I mean Optifine is a zoom, but I don't I don't recommend Optifine anymore. So there's a lot of zoom mods out there. If you use I use Fabric, if you can, if you play Java Edition, and then you'll find a lot of zoom mods that you can use. <clears throat> Sorry, delivery truck outside doing things. Need beeping. A lot of beeping. Jeez, what the? One second. I think they're coming up my driveway. An Amazon delivery truck just tried coming up our driveway and just. It's a pretty steep driveway, and he just absolutely bottomed out and just tore a chunk out of our driveway. That's fun. <laughs> that's that's fun. Okay, moving on. Every time there's a new de Amazon delivery driver, they always try and back up the driveway, and they always, always hit it. Every single time, without fail. Is that how many bones I have? that all the bone meal I have? Really? Also oak leaves. I didn't know I had those in here. Ooh, we got a ton of bamboo. Oh, I need string. We need lots of string. Okay. TikTok moment right there. <laughs> okay. Uh, last item. Last item. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, chat. Sorry. We're trying. I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to do things. I need to organize this shulker box. Oh my lord, I need to organize that. Cheers! How long till Empires 2? Uh, it's in three days. Is that soon enough? Is three days a good time? Can we organize that? Can we put that on our calendars for this Saturday? Is that okay? If somebody needs to, we can reschedule. We can reschedule for next week. If somebody wants... Anybody? Anybody need me to reschedule it for next week? I can I can tell the crew to push it back if one person's calendar is busy. I'll, I want to make sure everybody can make it. So we can retry next weekend if somebody needs to. No, we're all good. Oh, two day, two. No, sorry, we can't go early. We we had to push it to Saturday already for somebody else, but so we could push it back again. <laughs> yes, reschedule. All right. Uh, okay. Um, Joel asked if we could reschedule for next week, so we'll we'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay, so uh, not this weekend. We'll do next next weekend. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that seems good. That seems good. You drop it on your wedding instead as a gift to us? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But first, um, only only Liz, if I send out the wedding registry and everything gets everything gets picked off the registry, right? If we can organize that, then we'll drop empires on the wedding day. Because that's a lot of stuff to be thinking about. Why am I? What am I even doing? I'm in a mood today. <laughs> that's all I'm. That's all I know. So I, I'm in a mood. Just a little guy. Just a little one. Um. Can you not Pleased go there? to meet you. Oh, you can't go there. Why did I do that? Why can't you go there? There's water right there. Oh, it's because that block. Oh, makes sense. A little, little, little baby boy. Oop. Please don't do that. <laughs> no, it's it's Empire's releases this weekend. Don't let my trolling tell you otherwise. It releases on Saturday. Saturday, this Saturday, this very Saturday. Pleased to meet you. So I hope you all enjoy it. It's a good one. It's I've been, I spent so long working on the new starter base. It's I'm really happy with it. I'm very very happy with uh, how the design turned out. So I hope you all enjoy it. 
which was a fun one to come up with. It's brand new. I've never done this style before. I don't think anybody's really done the style before. I really tried to make something unique, so I hope it hope it comes across well. Is this Minecraft music? Yeah. Doggos at the wedding? No. I don't want to deal with my dogs at a wedding. At my wedding? No, never. I'm there to have fun and enjoy myself and not deal with my dogs. I love them. They're great, fantastic animals, but they're unruly. They're, they get uh, they get the hypers, the zoomies, and they uh, they don't really stop. We're gonna just let that grow. Where's the big boys? Let's do a big boy right in there. And we can bone meal. Ha ha. Can't wait for empires, but I have to go have a good stream. Hey, Nathan, thanks for stopping by, my dude. I appreciate that. Lena Rain really makes cool music. Yeah, she did a great job. Also, uh, I missed a bunch of people. Uh, Kawhi Ali, thank you so much for becoming a member. Why Guy, thank you for the membership. Uh, Sierra Richardson or Kira, I'm not sure which one it is, uh, but thank you so very much. And then Gaming with Cons, thank you for the membership as well. I appreciate that. There's so many new members today. I really appreciate y'all being here. How do you make a link? Uh, don't post links in chat, you will be banned. Unless you are a moderator, no linkies in chat. We don't do linkies in chat. Did someone get copyright strike for manually playing Minecraft music? No, uh, Minecraft music, most video game music falls under a general use thing because technically, yes, they can copyright it. Um, like Nintendo is notorious for it. Uh, so if you ever want to stream or are a streamer or are a video content creator, do not use any sound effects from Nintendo. They do do as in they, I've seen it happen to many people. They copyright strike people for using their music. They even for a while copyright strike people for playing their games. Like even with the sound muted, they were copywriting people for a bit. Uh, which is why you don't really see that much Nintendo content on streams and stuff like that. It kind of changed when Breath of the Wild released. Um, and Nintendo got a little bit more relaxed with it because they realized, wait, that's free marketing if streamers are playing our game. But yeah, they still do it. They, if you, I've seen people who like post Minecraft videos and a lot of people like to use some Mario sound effects and things like that just because it's funny. And that I've seen people get copyright strikes literally for playing like a Yahoo sound from Mario or something like that. So uh, don't do it if you're a streamer. Don't use Nintendo stuff. I mean, technically Nintendo's fully in their right to do it, but do we like that they do that? No, because they have funny sounds that we could use. I'm just gonna play some blocks and working down. I hope this turns out okay. I think it will. Is Empire Season 2 themed after fairy tale characters? Everybody made up their own character. Uh, we didn't be like, all right, Jimmy, you're playing this character. We didn't, everybody picked what they wanted to do. So if they made it after a fairy tale character, that's on them. Um, and that's what they said to do. But I don't have info on that really. Let's stop you. Let's let that grow to three tall. Um, let's just get a big boy in here. Why not? Okay. It to work great. The frogs. We got froggos down in there. We got to go breed them soon. I need a new slime farm. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Okay. I need, um, I need a, well, I need a lot of things. There's a lot of things that I could need, but I very much need to get brown mushrooms. I want to build that uh, new slime farm that Omango released that you just build in a swamp and just let it do its thing. You just, you like cover an area with brown mushrooms and somehow it makes the perfect slime farm. Are we going to do a field? Hadn't thought about doing a field on stream yet. Not going to lie. Hadn't, hadn't got there. I be honest, I've been so focused on empires that I kind of forgot about the things of the hardcore series. 
kind of forgot about the things of the hardcore series. <laughs> oh, yeah, the boulder. Yeah, we got to go investigate. Was this boulder that good? He really liked it. Is it? Is that a good? The shape is pretty good. We're going to, yeah, mm, yeah. You know what? I think we can better it even more. I, I can see it. I can see it. I can see why I like the boulder so much. I don't have moss to put on the boulder. I'm sorry. I know I need it. It's a good boulder, though. I, I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. A little patch of flowers in here because we can. No mud incorporation. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, we gotta get some... The mud is too dark. The mud, the mud is too dark. Like, I'll show you. Look, we use the mud down here. We can fly. I just lazy and don't want to use a rocket. Moss and azalea bushes. We could add some in. See, I use the mud down here. I like it. I do. But it's very dark. And it's got that blue tone to it. Which I understand why. At the Minecraft Creator Summit, Joppa talked about uh, why they went with a blue tone instead of a brown tone for the mud. And I really appreciate it. It makes a lot of sense why. Like after hearing what he had to say about it. But it still makes it very dark. And it stands out a lot compared to... Like, look at that. It looks good here. Like, it doesn't look bad. But I think if we throw that up there, I think it's going to be too much. Like, this is just a mountain stream. There's, it's, the water's not sticking there enough for the mud to build up unless it were to dry out. And then we could do mud in the Soul soil works a little better. Yeah, soul soil can work. I don't know if I'm able to say why they made the decision they did because a lot of things were under NDA. So um, I'm purposely not saying why. So please don't ask. <laughs> I would like to keep going to the Minecraft Creator Summits. They are fun. Packed mud. Packed mud could work, but you think I want to use the wheat? You think I want to make that cost for wheat? Yes, I do. I do. I really, really do. I actually 100% really want to do that. But I don't have wheat to do it. But... I like the bamboo in here. I think it's fun. I know it's probably not the most accurate thing. But it's still, it's still nice. That, that was all my bone meal. Cool. That's great. Are you live on Twitch? No. We are just on the YouTubes. We're just chilling today. I like this though. I think it's Nash. I forgot a water right there. Or is that on purpose? I don't know. There's water there now though. Aha. Did we do a small drip leaf? Yes. We did. I just, I, I just, I, 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 I did it. Um, I've got a few of these small drip leaf boys, so maybe we'll just throw a few in. Oh, we can come back with like carrots and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll come back Thank in with some me. carrots and a little bit of wheat, maybe. I think mangrove logs look good next to dirt. Coarse dirt. It's kind of a muddier brown. I use it in my paths. Oh, that's a good idea. Thanks for sharing. I'll just check that out. I like that. I, I can see that. I can see that working. That's a lot of mangrove logs. Mangrove logs. I don't know how much y'all been playing the new update, but huh, that's my reaction to trying to gather man mangrove logs. If you can catch it. We're in Discord. Do we find the texture pack? After you become a member, there's a downloads channel you'll get access to. It'll be in the top section. Um, it can take a little while for that channel to show up, but it will be in there, I promise. 
You gotta link your YouTube account and your Discord account via the settings. And then it'll show. Where are all my seeds? Seeds? What? The amount of places I have put the excess azalea leaves from the tree. There's no way I only have... No, I think I know. Ooh, I'm gonna go sleep first. Gathering acacia is so much better than gathering mangrove. Oh God, no, it's... Mangrove logs are the worst to gather. Like They are worse than the big oak trees. I will say that right now. Ah, I knew it. Okay, so I need a hoe. Hey, Ties, thank you so much for the two months, my dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry the memberships aren't popping up. I will try and fix that again in between streams. I've tried something new every stream and it's still not working. Very annoying. What did you say? Mud at the bottom of the river to differentiate from the water. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true, that's true. Do we have any? I have 33 mud. That is. That's right, more. Wait, I legit just spent... Like, uh, I was like, I literally spent an hour yesterday gathering mud. Where did I put it all? Carrots. Carrots. Not golden carrots, regular carrots. Also got to repair everything soon. Is this potatoes or carrots? Potatoes. Let's use potatoes, actually. It'll be fine. How do I get popular on YouTube? Do something that makes you stand out. But also, it's okay to not. As long as you're enjoying what you're doing, it's, that's what matters. I did some coarse dirt in here. I already had done some of that. I'm out of bone meal, so I gotta be careful and not breaking the... Maybe we just do like... Some of the sections like right here. Where it's just like where it actually is dropping down. I think that'd be fine. Like that's too steep to put any mud. That won't that won't sit. But maybe there's like a little bit catching right here. And then we get to this section where it actually would catch. This is a lot deeper. I think I know how rivers work. Probably I probably don't. I'm going off of fly fishing knowledge right here of where to cast your rod to catch fish. And I'm just hoping that means that's where the sediment is falling. <laughs> that's that's my logic right now. Do you have Optifine already or not? No, I don't use Optifine. Optifine uh, really is not worth it anymore. If you are able to set everything up with fabric and use fabric instead of Optifine, you will be much, much happier. It is amazing how much better performance you get. I'm getting nearly 200 FPS when walking around in here. Like when I'm spinning, it's obviously not, but I get a, I get 100 FPS when I'm spinning. Like that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Fabric is just, it's so much better. Optifine is too bloated. They just, they did too much stuff. Optifine tries to do everything and it doesn't do it well. It used to be great. I will 100% say Optifine used to be the best. But then the people who have been developing fabric really have like a good eye and mind for how to optimize things. And it's a bunch of different people doing different things that all work together. And each of the mods trying to do one thing instead of Optifine does everything. So 
big big vouch on on tap. Pleased to meet you. My brother's 300 FPS with fabric alone. Honestly, love it. Yeah, it's. If you get fabric and sodium, like you're pretty much. That's better performance than you get with just Optifine installed. Fabric is free, yes. Um, and then if you get, after that, there's a whole list of mods you can install, like lithium helps with lighting updates um, and everything like that. You can just, there's a bunch that you can install and you'll be a lot better off. I use replay mod for the time lapses. For all the people who keep yelling at me saying that I'm not in 119, uh, because replay mod quote doesn't exist in 119 yet, um, it does if you're a supporter. <laughs> I know this is where it's going to instantly lose so many people. If you give Optifine money, or not Optifine, if you give replay mod money, like a donation via Patreon to say like, hey, thank you for what we do, what you do, we really appreciate it, uh, they release it early. <laughs> They will release it like a month early for the people who donate to them. It's $10. <laughs> so if you're a content creator who uses replay mod and you're like, I have to play in 1.18 because I can't do this. If you can't afford $10 to get the mod early, then I, I don't know. Maybe you're, maybe you're just really small YouTube channel and you're not doing it. You're not making money off of it. Then that's fine. But I will always toss them the 10 bucks every update to get it early because I use replay mod so heavily. Okay, this should this should be a good amount of detail up here. I'm excited to see how this turns out once everything grows in. Why is he talking about fabric? Because everybody's asking if I'm on Optifine or not. And I said I'm not and everybody's like, what? What do you mean you're not on Optifine? It really took me a minute to get fabric ready. Yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it. Nice. This is working. I'm really thirsty. Once you get more bone meal, amazing to see. Here's just some dot around. I like more tall grass. Yeah. I know I got some of these too, so we can add some in. Like I think we need a little on that hill. And the course dirt. Always got to cover some of the course dirt. Yeah. Oh, no. That's in the water. Gone. Forever. Gone forever. No more. making right now we're just kind of decorating out this river it needed something it needed some love it's been here looking okay for the entire time and i just really need to come through and give it a little a little fix where's my rocket stars there are you using just sodium and iris or how are you using a better version of the uh, what um, I'm using, I didn't know there was a mod pack that downloads all of them, if there does, if there is. I can, um, uh, here, I'll read out the list right now. The mods I am currently using, here we go, chat. We have the CEM mod, which is something for empires. We have the cloth configuration mod because it allows more options for some of these mods. I have continuity to get connected textures. I have entity culling, which may basically means when you're looking this way, those chests that are back in the storage room, they aren't loaded in, so they don't cause any lag. Fabric API, because you need it to run all of these. Uh, I have gamma utilities to make the screen a little bit brighter, so it's easier to see for video content. Indium, because that does some optimizing things. I think that's the lighting one. Iris allows for shaders and a little bit more optimization. Lamb dynamic lights allows the when you're holding a torch or something in your hand it'll glow Thank the you, light around you and everything like you have with the optifine lights um logical Thank zoom you, just to be able to zoom in 
Uh, I have no fog installed, which is a better version of the Optifine really version of disabling I'm fog. Seeing that option. Because um, the no fog is so much better because you can control it based on dimension. So inside of here in the overworld, there's still fog. You can still see the fog on the trees out there that are loading in. But if we go to the nether, I've turned fog off. So that's fantastic. Replay mod because time lapses. Sodium because it's very needed. Uh, voice chat for prox chat in empires. And then just world edit if I'm testing things. That's my that's my whole same thing. Uh, Kat, Katie Patterson, uh, there should be a link in the description if that that if that only takes you to my main YouTube page. Unfortunately, it's just not available in your country right now, which is stupid. I don't know why YouTube hasn't made it available in all the countries yet. I'm sure there's some legal thing, but like how Twitch subs are allowed, don't know. Twitch is like, sure, you can subscribe from anywhere. And YouTube's like, no, nah, I'm sorry, legally you can't. And Twitch is like, but we'll let you. I don't get it. Okay, we got this back. Oh, where's my terracotta box? Just. We're gonna put this in here. Uh, we're gonna put you back in there. What was the one that uh it's entity calling c-u-l-l-i-n-g you got a haircut i did like a week ago two weeks ago yeah i feel like everybody's like write that down write that down write that down and it's like i missed it you can rewind the stream on youtube if you want to go check it out what i was talking about Actually, that's the wrong one for you, but we'll put short game in there. I think this is where these go. Yes. The chests are making you cry. <laughs> I know, it's a little rough. It's a little rough out here right now. Okay. Um, I kind of want to build the little birch tree right up here. Just not like it. Eh, it might be too... Meh, oak tree. We'll build oak tree. We have oak leaves. We're building an oak tree. Probably like that guy. You more tutorials on tree building? We're about to build a tree live. About to build a tree live on stream in front of your very eyes. Step one, oak log. Step two, oak wood. Step three, spruce fence. Very important for an oak tree, spruce fence. Step four, hit your head on a wall. Step five, oak leaves. All crucial steps. Every one along the way, crucial. Don't miss the hitting your head on something. Very important to building a tree. Step six, I think. Are we on six? Yes, yes, sorry, I hit my head, I can't remember. I think we're on six. Pick a location for said tree. That tree, we'll do that one next. First tree goes up here. Step seven, hit a replay mod event marker so that you can time lapse it if you want to. Log, log, top your logs with your wood. Every time you top the log with the wood, okay? Don't be the one who builds a tree and leaves this sticking out. It's stupid. That's very 2012. We don't do those trees anymore. You have a kind of a root thingy. Got a root thingy. Mm hmm. Always have the root thingy. Then this. And then you have a little root. See? Root. Base. Goes up. Don't be the one who builds it like this. We all know what it looks like. You don't need to do that. Okay. Up here. Over. First branch. Bam. 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 Break them so you have a little bit more movement. We're good. And then here, give a little bit of extra, woo, right there. That's that's your first branch. Here, second branch, boom. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Third branch. Thank you, Coyle. Step nine. 
I think. There you go. You get How one right there. How do you there. get your rivers to have nice bottoms? Thanks. I do know my rivers have nice bottoms. <laughs> That's such a funny way of saying it. Uh, I just put coarse dirt down there. Yep, there we go. Okay. Now we're a little weighted this way. We need some depth, right? You need some depth. Depth for the tree. Because right now it's basically just a line. That way and that way. Up. Back. Back. Now that we're getting now that we're getting higher up the tree. We're getting taller. So we don't want the branches to come out quite as far. This is gonna be the last one we make that's three blocks out. And for here, we're only gonna do something like this. So it's a little bit taller, so a little bit smaller of a tree. And then here, we're going to go on top of this, because we don't need to go any higher on those. And then the final branch. Okay, okay. Branches are in. Branches are in. We've got it. Tree building practice. Class is in session. Trees. Like this. Looks good. Then, we're in the big phase now, okay? The big phase of building your tree. Imagine each branch that we made is just a stick. Like it's just a it's just a stick of a tree. So instead of thinking about how do I cover this whole thing in leaves like that, dude, imagine this is a stick and this is one leaf. This is one just big leaf. Big big leaf. Tree building intensifies. So we're thinking about this as one big leaf right here. This is just one. So maybe he looks like this. Got some there. And I'm trying to make maybe something that's gonna come down like this. That could that could be our leaf. So that boys, that's a big leafy boy right there, okay? Over here, we've got maybe another little tiny one. Very intense tree building right now. Okay, okay, okay. Second leaf. First leaf, second leaf. Great. Next step. More leaves. Leaves, 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 leaves. Everywhere. Leaves all the way around the tree. Pick up your oak leaves. Don't leave your oak leaves on the ground. That's littering. We don't like that. And this right here, just make it more fun. Let's not have everything be carbon copy because then it looks fake. Then it looks artificial. It's a tree. The best part about trees is no two trees look alike. So if your tree looks a little wonk, that's okay. Cover the top, and then here, just give a little bit of an extra, like a little, zhuzh, just a little zhuzh. so we get we go up a little bit because we not all the leaves are going to be pointing down, so it's okay to have it go up. Here we continue this guy; he's going to go like that. Boop, boop, boop. We'll bring that back over here. He's going to do bam, bam, bam. Maybe this comes up. Maybe that goes out. I don't know. We're making the tree. It bar it's bark. It's a tree. Hmm. See background music i know it's just <laughs> i'm rolling we're rolling we're vibing okay 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 here we go we got this something like that why not okay Don't do that. Don't do that. We don't do that. You, that's misplay. Misplay. Even professionals mess up sometimes. It's okay. It's, o it's okay. It's sometimes even everybody messes up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Now we're in the tree building song. This is, this is key. Also key to tree building. Good music to go with it. Okay. It's very important to the tree building. Okay, 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 okay. We come over here. We're doing this. We're doing this. We're going over. Bam, bam, bam. Like that. Boom. Boom. Leaves. Leaves all the way around. I don't like this. You say you see how it's diagonal, 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 and then it's there. Ugly. We don't do that. That's bad. We don't do that. So we break it up. We break the shape up. Straight lines, not good. See, 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 much better, much better. Now it's got a little bit more natural curve to it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Then we go underneath. Fly on down with your elytra, because you're a professional, and you're not a noob who doesn't have an elytra yet. Make a scaffolding platform, because it's the only way to use scaffolding. Bam. Like this. Big leaf. We got that guy. We're making another leaf. This guy. Make another leaf. See? The leaves are connecting. We're starting to work our way around here. This guy right here, just for some detail, we'll just do that. We'll connect them in a little bit. Maybe they look nice. That makes it a little weird, so we're just going to extend it down. Here, we're a little flat on this side, so we're going to extend you out. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Like that. Tree. Kind of. You see? See? Shaped like a tree. It's barked like a tree. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bam. Now, on top, the common misconception that everybody makes is that you should put leaves in a big round bubble. No, we don't do the round bubble. Round bubble bad. So instead, each branch that we have is going to have its tall point. So for this over here, that's going to be there. This one right here, they're probably right about here. He's kind of got his, but maybe we just do something like this. That can be over there. That one's got his. This guy's kind of low to the ground, so he probably won't really come into play too much in this aspect. But it can be like right here. Bam. There we go. See? See? We're killing it. We're killing it. Bam. All these are together. Maybe this guy, because he kind of had that big thing out there. He's going to work his way around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 And then in the middle, we can either make a decision to build another little mini branch in the center, like this, which I think we will do today, because why not? Full tree tutorial. Actually, I kind of like that leaf in there. It looks nice. See? 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 And then we do this. Bam. Bam. Tree. 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 And then this guy's going to go kind of right in there. And then... Maybe we'll just do a little guy like in here. Cool. We now have tree. See? Easy. <laughs> Do we get it? Do we get it? We got the tree. And now, on step 13, we sleep. Thank you kindly. Take the scaffolding down. FW Hip. Love your channel, man. Can't wait to see what you do in Empire's Season 2, man. Keep up the amazing work. Hey, gamer, thank you so very much, my dude. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's I'm so excited. It's going to be a fun one. Really fun. I'm super pumped. See, we've got the start of the tree. We've got a few things left we can still kind of tweak on here. It's looking pretty good, but the center is a little empty. So we can do a little bit like this. A very important thing about trees, though, you know, you got you to gotta know the tree lore. To build a tree, you learn the tree lore and then you become the tree builder you can't just like be a tree builder without knowing the lore behind a tree right <laughs> i can't keep this up much longer um <laughs> thank you kindly but most trees down at the base they will lose step 14 their on leaves north. on the inside of like bigger trees because they're dropping them so that they can focus everything on growing leaves to the top of the canopy so the lower ones will eventually like kind of fall off and just die. So one thing you can kind of do that I do, been doing more recently, is just adding some extra little branches down here that I don't have any plan to put leaves on. But that way it kind of makes it look like there was a branch in there. I like it. I like it. And then, yes, we can go get some moss. Step 14, very important. It's very important, yeah. 
what was step 14 again? Was, I know it's very important, but can somebody remind me what step 14 was? If you can rem that'd be great. If somebody could just, just like a quick, quick little refresher on what we said step 14 was, yeah? Stop talking about Moss. Don't you dare say stuff. Somebody's trying to impersonate me, taking my name here on YouTube, and they're trying to say, don't stop talking about Moss. Worst troll attempt ever. Uh, building with Whip World, I did a bunch of terraforming. And yeah, if you head back to the desert village, there's some roads that'll take you out to it. And then you go west and then you go north. That's all the bone meal left in this world. I'm literally gonna do a video soon about getting thousands of bone meal. I swear, it's making me so mad. Moss on log, very it. important. True, true, true. It's true. It's, it is known. Almost as important, equally as important as glowberries from oak tree. This one, we're not even going to make it glow. It's just going to be its thing. Moss. Moss. Yeah. See? Tree. We make the tree. I think I'm going to bring this down. Oak tree. Da, 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 da. Moss on law is a thing now. It better be. I like this. I also like this little thing we built in front of it. I think that's a fun detail. See? I like it. I think that'll work. One thing I did want to do some moss on real quick, just because while we're here. That's a slab. I can't I can't put moss on that. We'll put a moss on there. That'll, that'll make up for the lack of ability to moss the other one. Become the tree. Be one with the tree. I knew it. We couldn't we can't put moss on the boulder the guy was standing on. We could put a little right there though. I knew it was the same thing. I want to do like a little like along here so it just gives extra texture because it gives that like one little pixel depth and it's a slight green change not that i can really tell from far away but you know like i'm sure you all big grain people who are perfect in every way and could ever possibly mess up anything because why else would you comment on a youtube video uh, <laughs> uh just a little just a teeny tiny bit yeah, I like that. Boulder. Boulder. Moss on Mr. Beast. Who? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that guy again? I don't remember. Pebble is called Dwayne. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sorry for the yawn. Oh man, the flip impersonator is leaving. That's gonna be a sad day, everybody. Okay. Next, because we can, before my elytra breaks and I die, uh, I need to at least have one more. I need one more custom tree in this world before it ends. So um, we're taking this boy down.
Ah, there it was. It's like, I think I'm missing a log. Now we just gotta wait for that to decay. And then we can build another one of these, probably. Pretty similar to that guy, just right over here. I like it though, I think that's fun. I think it's a fun little detail. Do villagers do villager trades to get mending on your light chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got mending already. I just need to go repair it. We're, we're fine. It's got, it's got 115 durability. That thing's not even below 25% yet. Uh, we need new series. Empire Season 2 on Saturday. Missed log, did I? I don't think it. I mean, I left that bottom one on purpose. I gotta wait for these to decay and get out of here. I guess we can at least gather some. Arrived after a haircut. <gasps> Pog. Can't wait for season two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's good. Episode one, very funny. Very good, good bits. Many good bits. I missed I missed Empire's shenanigans. Afterlife was cool, but I it was one like where I really enjoyed hanging with everybody on Afterlife, but it was so difficult to record things because everybody on Afterlife was like constantly going through new lives. You didn't want to spoil things because you didn't want to be the one to re release and like reveal their new origin or how they died. So it was really hard to like do stuff all the time. Um, whereas Empires is going to be so much cleaner because everybody's one character for the entire season. Or they have a story arc of where the character goes to do something else. So it really just just going to come down to whatever happens, happens. And that will be fun. And now we do it all again. Step one. I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember the steps. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Any new members for season? A Thank you kindly. We put out the mood board. We put out the mood board, and nobody's following the mood board. Two. So excited! Open mouth, smile. Open mouth, smile. You gotta, you gotta sort out the mood board. All I'm saying, you gotta figure out the mood board. Step five, bang head, head on all. That's why I don't remember. Ah, I don't remember anything. All right, before we build tree. Oh, sorry, not not that big enough. Um, before we can build the tree, I've gotta do the. I already have the block, so then I gotta do like a. Ah, okay. Now we now we continue. Okay, we we'll probably eat an apple. That probably was step six somewhere in there. Eat some food. Um. And I think one step in there was like sleep the night away or something like that. So maybe we're gonna wait for that. Do some glow lichen down here, cause uh, why not? This is gonna be way too low. We gotta raise that up. That's yeah. Now that now that I've hit my head on the wall, I real I understand. I understand where we messed it. That's we want to go up. This needs to come up to there. Cause otherwise that's gonna be very low. I think I'm also going to do just this. So we want it to be easy for carts to get under because this is a like a work road. Jimmy is the witch. Yeah, he, yeah, he is. You got it. Right there. That, that, that cart needs to be able to move through here. So we got to keep that in mind when we're building a tree. Because this is the tree lore. The tree's been here forever because they like the tree. Acknowledge me. Hi. Hi, Jackie. I want to say that I love watching you. Secondly, I make my own custom mountain train. Ooh, good luck, my dude. Good luck. It's a fun, time consuming adventure with lots and lots of tears. Happy tears and or sad tears. Your own choice, really.
it's a choose your own adventure if they're happy or sad tears, but they do happen. They, it's, it's really hard to have them not happen. So, you know, have fun. <laughs> Is there going to be lore in season two? Please. Please. No. No lore. We decided to ban all lore. No funny business allowed. Everything is all about earning diamonds and getting as rich as possible. That is the whole lore. We do nothing else. It's all about make money. Build shops. Make more money. Lore is illegal, confirmed. Yeah. After commenters got mad at us when we tried making lore in season one, uh, we determined that lore in, in fact was bad. So no more lore is allowed. How do you not get bored in a world lasting this long? Because endgame Minecraft is fun. We're doing a different style of tree building here, everybody. We're building the top of the leaves and then we'll go build the bottoms. Should be fine. This is kind of how I built all the birch trees. Will you build new from scratch or pick up where the new season where the previous season left off? Everybody is playing brand new characters. The world is brand new. Um, there is no, there are no returning characters from season one. Everybody wanted to do something new and have fun telling a new story. Um, and so I, we have confirmed, we'll continue to confirm that it's a new world. The rough idea that we've put on it is that we are so we are in the same this is where it's going to confuse y'all we're in the same world but we're not the same time period so what happened in season one you can think of as thousands upon thousands of years ago where nobody is alive that remembers what happened but if people want to do like cameo stuff of being like haha this was a season one joke Let's make a reference to it. That's valid. That's all fair game. But there is no... Nothing from season one is alive. That's that's your that's your lore for the day. Everything else is illegal. No, lore is illegal, remember, so we can't share anymore. There's your, there's your tidbit. So like the jumps between the Narnia books? I got no idea, dude. <laughs> uh, it's been uh, quite some time since I've heard then since I've looked at anything of Narnia. Maybe Hades, maybe. Could be, and I could just not know. I like the lore, I love games and series with lore. Uh, if you want to figure out more about what my character is, go get on the Tumblr. People have pretty much confirmed. <laughs> Daddy Zorzor is no more. I did slash ban Zorzor from the server. Pleased to meet you. So Daddy Zorzor is gone. But after the new hit song, it takes two to tango. Who knows? Zorzor does not exist in this world. Zorzor does not and now and will not exist in the world. I can confirm that.
I thought this is PG. Is that not PG? I don't, I don't see. I feel like until a few years ago, the people who probably most said the term daddy were kids. I'm just saying. Scarf holding. I'm running out of scarf holding, everybody. Panic. Do you have big villains on Empire Season 2? Uh, nothing's been determined yet. Uh, one thing that we've said that I think the crew just kind of agreed upon. There will be no... Like, Zornoth was the quote, was like a 13th member of the server. There will be nobody in that field that, like, some people might have some of their own backstory and stuff where they tell a story that involves, like, a big bad or something like that. But there will be no overarching extra character that, um, where, like Zornoth, who just came on and was an actual extra account. Everything else will be within, like, terms of the players of the server. Thank you kindly. That way, it keeps it within realm of like hey, what we have here. going on, and Big it doesn't complicate here. things. I was wondering if you so. considered connecting the different locations in your overworld with Ender Pearl Stasis Chambers. No idea how to do that. Didn't even know it was a thing, so I had not considered it. But also. I'm assuming that's like a teleportation system. The stuff in my world is not far apart, so I don't really see the need to. I like exploring the world. A big thing for me in Minecraft is walking around what I've built and seeing what I built. Like I love walking from here down through everything to the birch forest. I do it just when I'm chilling. If I'm just like can't think of an idea, can't think of the next clip, I just wander the roads of this world, and I love that. I have so much fun doing that. So if it's stuff to like instant travel around the world, I, you probably won't see me do it. Did Scott play slash voice Zornoth? Zornoth had a Scottish accent, y'all. <laughs> he had a Scottish accent. <laughs> the fact that people could not figure out it was Scott for that long was the only person with a Scottish accent on the server. I'm just saying, it was pretty easy to figure it out. <laughs> oh, pretty easy to solve that mystery. We did not need to call, call Scooby Doo. <laughs> yeah, that is the seed. Rhett, you are correct. I don't think this is my favorite tree I've made, but tree so I cannot complain now we can do this I need more glowberries because I'm running out actually I wanted that to be there I didn't mean to bone meal that, but it is now. Okay. Tree. I like it. I think those work. I think those two work well together. Yeah? Maybe this needs to come out. I think that needs to come out a little bit. They also never spoke at the same time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's true. We did do some funny editing things a few times where somebody else used the Zornoth account to like do actions and Scott pre-recorded voice lines that were then inserted in post editing so that it could look like he wasn't Zornoth. 
but it uh a little a little difficult. Yeah, cool. We got another tree. Yeah. Nailed it. Just a few just a few reeves. Just a few reefy boys. That'll do. That'll do, pig. Pretty custom tree? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That filled that out much better. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I don't know about this guy down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boo. Okay. That'll do. All right. How does this look from down below? That's kind of what I'm really curious about. How excited for you for Empire Season 2? Um... I already have 18 hours of played time. And episode one isn't even out, so I can kind of answer the question. <laughs> Why can't you act like this in your videos? I mean, we're chilling. I like my videos to be a little bit more... I guess edited, you could say. I, I ramble a lot, and I like the intensity of my videos about how quick they move. And I really like that. And I think it's okay to have different forms of content. Some appeal to certain people, some don't to others. Um, and I think that's good. Yeah, that works. Okay, I like that. That looks really, that's really looks real good up there. But yeah, I, I like my videos and I like my live streams. I'm very happy doing both. And it gives me a great break when I'm doing one versus doing the other. It's a good break. So I like, I like it. I like this, Steve. How you deal with back pain as a streamer? Carrying everything, I know. Woo. Um, not good. I have a standing desk, so I stand a lot. After I end this stream, I'm gonna get up, go do things, and stand. <laughs> go pick up some lunch, I think. I'm hungry. Next video, Empire's SMP, episode one, the starter base. We'll launch on Saturday. Uh, but yeah, let's go repair everything. We gotta do that. I'm gonna put all this, put all this stuff away. Where's my under chest? I put my under chest somewhere. Chat, where did I put my under chest? <laughs> what time on Saturday, like noon. Usual upload time. Uh, 10, 15 a.m. Pacific me. time. This is when I upload every every time don't let anyone harsh your mellow your videos are really well paced and fun to listen to while i do idle tasks and work thanks for streaming heart i appreciate that thank you kenzie i like that line i've never heard that before don't let anyone harsh your mellow i've never heard that before but i like it pearl is not in season two no she decided to not to continue. She wanted to focus on um, uh, Hermitcraft. We'll, we will miss her for sure, but I completely understand why she didn't. She's the amount of stuff she does on Hermitcraft, absurd. Absurd, so. It was not anything like we asked her to leave or anything like that. No, we very much we were like, yeah, if you want to stay, you're more than welcome to. But we didn't pressure her into doing anything because we didn't want her to be overloaded. Because keeping up with two big series, like two vanilla SMPs, is not easy. It's not easy because there's a certain expectation as far as viewership goes of like you have to upload at a certain schedule for like people to stay in touch and things like that. Otherwise you get constant comments of, why don't you ever upload? Why can't you upload more? Blah, 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 blah. Because a lot of people don't really understand how much work goes into each video. Um, so it's, it's a smart decision to focus on both or focus on one instead of doing both. So like for me, I'm still trying to figure out the new balance of this and doing empires. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm very excited and I want to keep up both, but we'll see. We will see. 
I'm hoping I would love to have one video of each series per week, but we'll see. I did. I'm trying for the next hardcore video just to keep you all in the loop for those who care. Uh, I had an editor who I've been working with for a while. He did all of Afterlife for me and he's going to be doing Empires and we're going to try and I'm going to try and have him do the hardcore series too. We're going to see how that goes because it's a little bit of a different editing method than I typically do or than we did on Afterlife. So we'll see how it goes for the next bit. But that's kind of my plan is how I can keep up with both series is have somebody else do all the editing because it editing i usually spend two days a week on it so that'll give me two days back to make content instead of just edit content so we'll see gem will be tired yeah gem's got a good balance if she just does one video and then she does the other series and then she comes back to do the other and she just flip flops and it's one 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 and has a just has a good flow going with it All right, everything is repaired. I ran out of finish. Pixarifs is in season two, yes. Is there gonna be a season three? Homie, season two hasn't even started yet. We're seeing if we can acquire the funding from Netflix to go full lore. That's if we hear back from them and we get the full lore, then we'll, then we'll talk about it. Every video is a mini production. A lot of time and effort goes in each one of hat goes off to you. Yeah, that's every hardcore video like out the door right now is about 40 hours <laughs> between uh, the building, the editing and the like the final cuts and everything like that. It's probably 40 hours out the door at the end. Uh, and I'm trying to I'm hoping that if I can get that down to about 20 hours and then I can get a empires done in about 20 hours. And I've changed how I record recently, so editing is actually going quicker. So the the editing for the entire Birch Forest only took me eight hours to get everything edited. The building in here took about 30 hours, uh, but just I did a different style of it and it worked so much better. So I'm gonna keep doing that moving forwards and I'm hoping because of that, I can pass it off to an editor and they can manage it. So that's my goal, we'll see. It's all about learning and growing and figure it out as you go. We're only about to get season two. I know, God. I will say some people are already like, yeah, season three, I already have my character planned. <laughs> You'll pay $17 million in funding. Hey, if you do that, I will dedicate and we'll do empires all the time. So Empires might become a Netflix series? No, I was completely joking. Could you imagine though if Netflix buys a <laughs> buys rights to a Minecraft series? <laughs> That'd be a big day. I love walking through this gate. I I know it's just like a like this is a, just such a transition to bam, and then whoa bam. It's something that we built so long ago. And now it's just like, it's in the world. Like I love the build to begin with. And now it's just like, it's set in the world. And I, it's so good. But the view across here, ooh, chat. <sighs> Chef's kiss, so good. How, how would Netflix even do that? Same way they buy any other series. That would be so interesting to see. <laughs> Empire's SMP, the anime. <laughs> What do you want to see in the next update? Dude, I'm on the inventory update train. It's pain. The inventory management right now in this game is awful. I, I seriously think I could cut down the amount of time it takes me to record a video by so much. I think I could cut three to four hours off of recording time if the inventory was easy to manage. I'm not saying unlimited inventory space, but like, Managing it the way like Stardew Valley manages an inventory where there's like the auto sort features and stuff like that. Give me that. That if that type of stuff was in the world, like in here, give me that. Give me the ability to like see inside of a shulker box, like instead of just this. I know you can get a data bag for it, but I don't like doing that because it's very non-Minecrafty. 
I might honestly do it soon, like get the little thing where you can like hold a shift and it shows you all the items. Um, but like the ability to just open, give me an extra like nine slots in here, maybe like, or even the ability to wear a chest on your back, like a, a, a backpack per se. It would be kind of nice for a chest on your back or yeah, you know, mm. but instead of an elytra, I would do that. I would do that in so many cases where if I did this and then I'm in builder mode and I get an extra three rows of in inventory slots. And then if you take it off, it stays in that backpack. That would be great. Are you kidding? That would be so good. Also, we installed a data pack on season two for empires that gives you the bundle so we can craft bundles and oh my lord they are so good bundles are great i know that mojang like they're fully functional they're working and i know mojang doesn't want to release them because it's not something easy for mobile players to use and i get it like i, I get that there's that line in there but also, like, the rest of the community would benefit so much from having it. I think they just need to add them. What are bundles? I'll show you. Bundles aren't the fix. I will say that right now. Bundles are not the fix. They are a band-aid. But they help. Uh, oh, yeah. actually can't give one. Give. Equip. Bundle. This is a bundle. You see all these things? This is a bundle. Bam, 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 bam. They're now all in the bundle. Bam. It can stack up to a total of 64 items of any stackable items. So if I took all this, that'll fill it out. So we got 51 stone and we got the rest of that stuff in there. That is so good. When you're adventuring around the world and you get your one sunflower, you got your one lilac, you get your one rose bush, you get your one peony because you want to bring them back home so you can have one of each double tall flower so you can bone meal them later. This is great. You pick up a name tag in your strong in a spawner room that you find. You throw it in your bundle. It's so easy. It's seriously just so easy. Bundles are worth. Also, yeah, this is the this is the creative world. We got this house. We got, I don't want to turn around behind me because that's spoilers of the new starter base. This was all the Amplified Survival World. This was the Amplified Survival Starter House, I believe. Yeah, I built the front half of it. Then I was like, I'll figure it out in game. Um, I was trying to do something. Oh, this was the potion brewery. I believe. I never really used it too much. I want to do more of this. That type of stuff, I think, is fun. Um, we got a, the the first steamboat. Went with a very steampunky theme in that world. That over there was hardcore season two storage room. This thing, honestly, was legit. This storage room was so good. I would build this again. I'd meant to do this as an enchanting thing, and I just never got a version that I liked, so I never finished it. Um, this was another airship from the Amplified Survival World. I I love these. I think they look great. I would build again. Uh, this guy right here was a big old mansion that I made. I was going to do a tutorial on it, and then realized I hated recording tutorials, so I never recorded it. Um, we got... There we go. Empire Season 1. Empire Season 1. Trip down memory lane. What was this? This is where I put all my stone masons. They all lived in there. Um, There's a cart. This had all the melons on it. This was me testing out custom armors and things, getting them working. So those were in-game. Uh, there, the, there was the little chapel type thing that we made to Deep Slate Redstone. Again, this storage room. It was great until I had to put put carpet in the floor. Putting carpet in the floor made it not great because I had stomp iron golems, but it had to be done. Here we have the gift shop. Yeah, big big gift shop. Oh, there's Legacy Season One. I tried Cyberpunk. That says flip. I swear. We do time set night. 
whip. And then I got a new shader pack recently. If y'all haven't checked out this, Complimentary Reimagined, it released last week. It's legit so good. Look at this. It's so good. I love this. I would do Cyberpunk again, but I don't think my audience is Cyberpunk. I like the style, but I just don't think I can do it. Like, like for video wise. But look at the puffy clouds, they're back. Hopefully it's not lagging too much. But we got that. We got the tree back here. Holographic tree for a tree farm. There's old stuff everywhere in here. What was this? This was the melon and pumpkin farm, I believe, right? Yeah, this Empire Season 1 melon pumpkin farm. It's a good build. It's a good build. This was an old, old, old Nordic house I made. This is like building with whip stuff. Yeah, this was old school. I want to do more like this, where you have like a sunken floor when you walk in. I think it's so cool, because it gives you an extra block of headroom. It just gives a, it's a good vibe. It's a, it's a vibe. As soon as you walk in, you're like, oh, this is a little different. There's a bridge for the Nordic place. There's the Nordic watchtower. Um, my arches, my, the big boy arch. First attempt at making a roof with dripstone. Another Nordic one. Yeah, this was, uh, did I do the interior? I did, yeah, it had like a little back door. Got a little thing over here. Me testing flower textures and everything like that. A water tower. What was this? This is my sugarcane farm. Yeah, that's when I thought I was a cool red stoner. I don't think it even works. <laughs> this is where I used to do all my texture packy stuff. We have all the paintings over there because I used to make custom paintings. And then I never did. Um, here's all the command blocks to make these cool banners. Look at all those banners. I need to make, I, I need to get back into banner making stuff. This was the snow elves, rip snow elves. That was the only build they got. <laughs> my first attempt ever at a modern building. I like this one. I think I ended up adding an extra floor on top of it too. Like I think this was decidedly vanilla. Like this is old. I really like it though. I think it turned out great. I, I really like this. It's just not a style I care to do outside of it. This was my second attempt at it. And this is more apartment building-y and I don't like it. This one's a little bland. I did build a slime block elevator inside of it. And this, this was another cool one. So I had a, I had an iron farm up here that was in the roof. And then the golems would drop down the center. They die in the center. And then around the entire outside of it, I had a sugar cane farm. So this glass would go all the way up. And so sugar cane would hit there and also fall down and they would all get collected at the same point. And I was like, genius, big brain play. Little redstone-y things, big pumpkins. Oh, now we're in papyrus, dude. This is old school. The first vertical windmill. I love that. I, I will build those again, 100%. I just need to find a good place to do them. They're very good for like a desert theme windmill. Age of Empires inspired to heck. Uh, good stuff. A boat, a good boat. A seahorse, seahorse statue for a conduit. That's what it's supposed to be, a little bit more thick. We got this over here. This was one of the first houses that went in the port city. I ended up changing it. Originally, I wanted to do the brown concrete powder. I ended up moving away from it. I think I also didn't do that. I think I did that as oak. Another house. This was a good one. Even more houses. Another house. The bonk. Market stalls. This is a good market stall. This one right here. If you need this, change it out to smooth quartz instead of regular quartz. You get a little banister in there. Oh, it's good. And then also you can use smooth red sandstone in these with quartz. Don't use regular red sandstone, use the smooth. It looks much better. This one, we got a little play going on. Mm-hmm. This is uh this was my attempt at like a very old school lighthouse when bells were first added. More designs. Oh, this is where who remembers source block? This is where the build idea for source block came from. This I want to do like a Tibetan style build. So 
I, I had I really like this. I had so much fun making that style. I would do it again. Oh, there's Hardcore Season 3. Nice. That's the current one. And then there are, if you want to see build ideas, I got many videos on build ideas. <laughs> Haven't done those in a long time, but we used to. Oh, my roof tutorials. Yeah, there we go. Back in the tutorial era of this channel. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The original walls in the building with Flip World. Killing it. Killing it. Source Block was the first Minecraft to be a fold. Source Block was fun. Uh, it was a good chance to meet a lot of people. It was a bummer that it didn't last long. But look at this world, chat. The sun going up. It is going up. Look at this world with this shader pack on. Look at the big fluffy cloud. Whoa, I haven't seen that before. That's really pretty. Oh, I don't think that's supposed to be like that. Oh, I think it's goofed. Oh, oh God. Oh, the tree destroyed the clouds. Oh, the tree is destroying the clouds. Wait, kind of realistic though. Big tree breaks up the clouds. They don't just flow through it. Look at the vibes. I'm just saying. The vibes are real. Re-binge re building with foot recently? Dude, it was a good one. It was a good time. Wow, the tree actually is breaking the leaves. That's really cool. You can see the shape of the tree and the leaves. Look at that. It's the shape of the tree. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if that's intentional or not. Vibes. I'll tell you what, though, chat. I'm really hungry and my voice is a little not doing the best today. So I think I'm going to get on out of here. I've been recording so much. I need to give my voice a little bit of a break. But thank you all so very much for hanging today. I really do appreciate it, my friends. It's been absolutely awesome. Thank you again for everybody who hung out from the Jimmy raid earlier. We got 23 new members today. So we recently broke 400. Now we're almost at 425. So I really do appreciate it, everybody. You all are absolutely amazing. Hope you all have a fantastic day. New video coming out on Saturday. Empire's SMP Season 2, Episode 1. It's here, finally, my friends. Thank you all so very much for hanging out. I do appreciate it. But I'm out of here for now, so peace out and goodbye.